Hey everybody, it's Sue here. I wanted to cover a couple pieces of gear a little more in depth. I'm not sure if I even showed this one. These are uh, my trekking poles. They are Lecky Cristillo, Cristillo 6.5. Closer look. They are uh, the flip lock. You flip those to bring them out, and you flip the bottom one to bring it out. And uh, the way you adjust these is that uh, your elbow, your arm, and your forearm should be your yeah your forearm and your upper arm should be at a ninety degree angle. And you want to divide these spaces evenly so you don't put too much stress on this thinner part of the trekking pole. And uh, they have a lifetime guarantee, I, I believe they still do, on just the aluminum, uh, not the carbon poles, but I believe they still hold it on the aluminum poles and that's what these are. They do have a rubber grip but I have a very thin pair of trekking gloves I wear with them so I don't get blisters uh, the best material for a handle you should get for trekking poles is cork uh, they form to your hand as you use them or foam but rubber is supposed to be like the worst but you know I'll deal I've been using them and I haven't had any issues with my hands while using the gloves so those I, I'm going to keep till they die another piece of equipment I wanted to cover is uh, the stick pick you get this from stickpick.com I'm doing this video on my Galaxy 4 phone and in one of my videos I mentioned that the cell phone holder doesn't hold the phone very well and that's true if you have an OtterBox on it. Right now, I don't have the OtterBox on and it works fine. But if you're on a long uh, hike, personally, I wouldn't want to go without the OtterBox on my phone. It's an expensive phone. So I'm still debating on uh, getting a camera, keeping that in the OtterBox, which I'm, I'm leaning more to because I'm researching cameras that have Bluetooth, I think it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi cap capability that you can upload your videos to your phone and then I can upload from my phone to YouTube. So I'm ch just trying to find an easy way to do that without having to stop at a library and, and uh, bounce a, a cheap laptop ahead or anything like that which I have seen that done uh, Appalachian Trail Learner that was a pretty cool idea because you have great um, access to editing programs which I'm still trying to see if I can't get something decent on my phone so that stick pick there they are uh, they only cost like 13 bucks 13.99 and the adapter for the phone is only uh, $8.99 so when you go on their website they have charts and um, I I wasn't sure what, if I got the right one for my lucky poles but there is a chart on there under number two that fits all lucky poles so number two is for lucky and uh, the camera I was going to use is uh, the Nikon cool picks it does a great job with pictures and videos and everything. It just doesn't have any capability of uploading to my phone. And uh, I like to get the pictures and videos out on YouTube as, uh, as soon as I can. Instead of sending cards back home or stopping at a library and spending hours there for things to upload. You know, maybe I could do it right on my phone while I... I eat or sleep in the evening so as said uh, another piece of gear I wanted to go over was my uh, my Osprey Aura now this pack is designed for women 
but I believe its counterpart for men would be the Atmos. Now this uh, pack says, uh, well, small is actually a 47 liter, and that's uh, including the brain, which I, I really didn't realize that the sizing mattered as far as, I didn't realize it affected the liter of the bag, but it does. And uh, extra small is uh, actually smaller yet as far as liters, but uh, it has to be fitted to you, and uh, my pack size is a small for it to be comfortable and everything. Okay, Osprey has anti-gravity backing, suspension, and uh, this is a feature I really like how it com comes around as uh, grabs your hips. It, it automatically goes back into place like that, <laughs> and that makes it very comfortable. Uh, the weight doesn't shift in this bag. It's, it's very awesome. Then, up in here, right behind this gray strap, there's a clip where you can actually adjust the torso length of your pack, which is, is pretty, pretty cool. You know, if you're off just a little bit or something, you can tweak it in. Okay, and uh, another feature I really love about this pack is... This hip belt right here, it uh, has Velcro on this side, and uh, these green things come out, and you see the marks on them, you can slide them in or out to adjust this hip belt. So if you lose weight, you can push it in, and you know, it saves you a little bit of uh, discomfort if it gets to be too... Uh, too loose you can always adjust it in and that's called a fit on the fly hip belt adjustment okay. the brain of the pack is removable it has a top zipper and this compartment's kind of small I have my bug net uh, my rain cover in there and um, probably would carry my keys in there the big, this is a bigger pocket. I have like my emergency kit, like first aid and uh, meds in there, and my raincoat, and my headlamp, and I would probably carry my guide in there also. So I, re I really like that. The outside has a mesh pocket. And this mesh pocket really isn't that big compared to my other bag, but that's fine. But it has a clip here. You can clip it out. And I have freezer bags in there. Throw uh, my fuel for my stove out there. And uh, you have two side pockets, and this is a pretty cool feature, but... Uh, I've yet to find a bottle that really works well with, but right here, you should be able to sit a, bo a bottle in there so you can get your bottle out of this pocket quick. It's, uh, but you can carry your ten poles in there. I got those in one side, and uh, you have plenty of uh, straps to strap things to the pads here. And I got a water bottle for this side. Now it does have a sleeve for a hydration port and the hydration port is comes right out here. You know, I have my two run down through through these straps. You have a couple places to hook small things like a knife or a thermometer. And oh another cool feature of this. Let me see if I can locate this thing it's on this side <laughs> and I have it all covered up <laughs> but you have a still and go place for your yeah this is it you uh, can put your trekking poles through here and uh, they'll 
angle out back here and you hook it into a loop back here so I may want to rethink having all this stuff you know on this side because that that's a really cool feature if you're walking along and you don't want to take your pack off uh, you can put your trekking poles up quick or you could probably even just hang them right in that you know but the, I like that feature about that and um You can take the brain off, like I said, and it has a flap to cover when that brain isn't on. And then you have this tab here to open the main pocket. And then you have actually a compression strap in here to compress your main load. So, uh, like I said before, I was so undecided about uh, wh which pack I was going to take. This pack weighs uh, 3 pounds 12 ounces, but you really don't feel it much when you have it on with with it uh, full and everything. The price on this is $229.95 at uh, Eastern Mountain Sports. That's where I got mine at. And, um, hmm. Oh, it also has a dual ice uh, tool loop and two hip belt pockets. Now, that's the uh, one feature that I really didn't care for on this because, uh, let's see, let me just look around here again. These hip belt pockets really aren't that big. Really don't have a, uh, it barely comes out away from, uh, from your hip belt because you have this uh this is pretty stiff right in here and this zipper and hip belt seems to just follow that contour maybe it, after using it for a little while it might uh loosen up or something i don't know but they seem kind of tight and like you wouldn't be able to get much like my phone would probably i would have to squeeze it in there and um that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you have any comments or uh, suggestions or anything, um, feel free. It is very well, very much appreciated. Um, okay, that's it for uh, this video here. We'll see you next time.